Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, I am back at my favorite place and yours, Superior Auto Sales, SASCars.com. No, I do not work here, but they allow me to film all the cars, so I figured I'd show you what they have. But I have something that is really, really old. You know, I like shooting these older cars too. Even cars from like the 60s and the 70s and the new modern cars. But this one is from the 40s. So this one, I'm gonna show you. It's a 1947 Monarch. Okay, if anybody is familiar with these, these cars were only built in Canada. Okay, it's basically like their Ford, Lincoln, Mercury kind of thing. So it doesn't have any Ford badges on it, but it is produced by Ford. You know how Ford does Lincoln and Mercury? This is kind of their little thing that they did. So I know it's a little hard in here because of the lighting. Let me mix. It's a little tight in here because they have a lot of cars here. They have a ton of new cars. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Definitely a cool car. But I already got the hood open because this hood, very heavy. Very, very heavy. Because it takes two hands to open it. But this car appears to be all original except for some things. I mean, these were replaced. It's definitely been repainted. You know, so it's, I don't know if it's had like a full restoration. I do not know the history on this car. But I figured I would show it to you guys. And there you go. Flathead V8, which is nice and cool to see. And it is so simple. Not much wiring to it. Not much to it at all. This is when cars were simple. But there is that big, huge horn down there. I'm sure that'll get somebody's attention and you'll get out of the way really quick. You know, like this top rod right here. I mean, you can tell by the hardware, it's definitely been replaced. I mean, some things, they just don't last forever. I mean, what do you do to them? So, and yeah, you're going to hear your noises in the background like usual because this is a place of business. So, yeah, they're putting on tires on something. But this car is really, really cool. Beautiful car. Oh, yeah. The exhaust pipes right here. These are really cool. Put the V8 symbol right on them. Exhaust. A little turn taken. These look way too new. You can tell. So I'm just guessing they're maybe reproductions. I'm not sure. I mean, you can tell by the the plastic too. Oh, how do you? Nope. I'm not even gonna try it because I'll rip my fingernails off. <laughs> but it is cool. Definitely is a cool car. The grill on this thing is actually pretty neat looking too. You know, the center sections have been painted to match. There you go, there's your Monarch. Got your balance up here. Okay, 1947, this is basically whoever restored this car. Yeah, restoration. Body and paint by Jason Flick and Peter Kenneth. So those are the guys that did the full restoration on this car then. So at least you know, okay, it not on parts wise I'm sure it's original, but I'm sure it had to be repainted, things like that, re chromed some small stuff. But that is what it is. But it's cool, it's got this valance right here. And if you want extra air, that vent always popped open, which was pretty cool. But the thing is that, throws me a little bit here is these side mirrors because they're sideways like that they look like they should be turned I mean I don't want to try and turn it too much well you can turn it a little bit but not too much I don't want to try and force it because knowing my luck I will manhandle it and break it and I don't want to do that I mean yeah, you can definitely tell there's been reupholstered work done to it. You know, the rugs, things like that. Seats, don't know. I'm just guessing they have. But you know me, the best part of getting in it. The only modern touch that this car has is that somebody had 
well, it's considered older, but for a modern touch for this car, the radio, it's a CD player. <laughs> they're using that vent right there to hold CDs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And they fit, too. So, being a Canadian-built car, I don't know if that's going to be in kilometers or miles per hour. That I do not know, I'm assuming, because it's a Canadian car. But you get all your gauges, you get your fuel, your oil, your amps, and, yeah, your temperature. Which is nice to have. Hood release. This is for, I have no idea. Maybe it's for that vent up there. But then you got your turn switches. Which is cool. Yeah, everything has been repainted in this car. You can definitely tell. And it's got a clock. Which is kind of neat. But this original speaker you could tell was probably up here. Your ashtray all the way up there. Wow. Let me get it close. I'm assuming this is one, yeah. Ashtray on both sides. Huh. That's pretty interesting. But then they put new speakers down in there, so. And then, for those of you guys who don't know what this little button is right here, that is how you turn your high beams on and off. A lot of millennials will never find that. Actually, I don't even know if a millennial could probably want to drive this car. But yeah, I mean, it's all completely reupholstered in here, you can tell. Beautiful car. Very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the back seat here and record this. But it's really cool because it has the back seat on it with suicide doors, which are really cool, all reupholstered. And the back seat in this is huge. It is, it is gigantic. Uh, let me guess, they probably belong to some club. Yeah, the Hemi Motor News. But the back seat in this is gigantic. This door wants to shut on my leg. I don't know if it's like spring loaded like that for a reason. But then you got these little foot rests, which are pretty cool. So you don't put your feet underneath the seats. Another ashtray. Boy, they really put a lot of ashtrays in cars back then, didn't they? Wow. Here's your... Oh, crap handle. <laughs> yeah, armrests. Yeah, they thought of a lot of things on this car. And these back windows, obviously, they pop out. So you can get some extra air in here. But there was a lot of room in this car. There was a ton of it. I mean, you could, well, up front, I mean, down, I mean, it would, wouldn't be too uncommon to put three people in the front and three in the back. That's what they did back then. But even four people comfortably, you would be very, very comfortable in this car. But the suicide doors here are really cool. We got a, now in the trunk area. I don't want to lock it in place because I'll need two hands to get it down. But yeah, here's your full spare. Not like the little donut tires they give you of the past. Now here's the funny thing on this. Okay. It tells you the spark plug gap. Tune-on system. It basically tells you how to do a tune-up on this. Starting motor, your battery, your generator. Those of you who don't know, your generator is your alternator. Back then they were just generators. And that's it. And if I'm correct, they only ran on like 6 volts, not 12 like they do today. It even tells you the timing on it. The clearance, carburetor, just additional data. And then this I thought was pretty interesting too. 46 all the way to 48. It gives you all this information on it. Which is really, really cool. But then... 
I mean, it's just, it gives you all the way up to 49 to 50. It just gives you all this extra information that you would not get in a modern car. Back then, that's just what they did. You know, they'll even tell you how to set the timing, everything. So those look like they're original, and it's pretty cool that those come with the car. You know, it's all been redone in here. You can tell this car was taken apart and repainted the right way. The bottle jack and that jack. I don't know if that's original to this car, because that seems a little modern to me that they put in some cars, but not for back then. But if you do know, leave a comment down below. Yeah, a lot of trunk space. Lots and lots of trunk space. Yeah, back in here. I just love these suicide doors. They are definitely cool. But this car is so clean. But it's been restored. And they... Dynomatic. Oh, no, it's not a dynamat. It's a little different. But it's a sound deadening, you know. Which is nice. Like I said, if you see, I mean, just looking at the inside of this back seat, it looks like a taxi or a limousine, for God's sakes. The old taxis were like this. But then you can see that hump right there in the back. That is for the spare tire. Before you started taking them and laying them down and putting them in the trunk. But yeah, we're going to close this up. Nice sound on that, too. Like, yeah, this car, I mean, it's... I mean, it is super clean. I mean, let's see if we can get a quick pick, a quick peek underneath. Can't really see much because, oh yeah, a lot of things have been redone. Yeah, this car was done the right way. Oh yeah. It's fully restored from the ground up. Then, a little tiny, oh yeah, here's some pictures. Wow. We'll just go through them real quick because I don't want to bore everybody. But yeah, here is a few pictures of the car being restored. Looks like originally it was tan. And they just did a color change on it. Let's see if some of these pictures have a date. No, they don't really. Yeah, they really quick I'll just kind of skim through whatever little thing that needed it looks like it was a really clean car to start with which is nice to find you know they had to do some metal work you know not metal work but some dent repair here and there but it doesn't look like they had to cut any metal or anything like that so it is definitely nice is that the original radio or is it just a box? Oh, it's just a box of CDs. That's all. But yeah. Yeah, somebody spent some time. They even put like a suede in here for the glove box. Wow. So yeah, at least you know right there. Yeah, they, somebody, ooh, there's a big B and you don't need to be in this car. Yeah, even the sun visors are redone. Somebody spent some money on this and a lot of love and time to keep this car up. And, yes, it's not an automatic. It's probably three on the tree. For those of you who don't know, it's like a standard, but three speeds on the tree, which is the steering column. They consider that the tree. So it's a three-speed manual, I'm guessing. But I could be wrong, and I'm sure if I am, somebody will point that out to me. But yeah, it is really, really cool. Wow. Give one more good look. Yeah, everything has been redone in this car. So yeah. Now that's weird. It's got the side mirror here. One over there like that also. Let me check. Yeah, it does have it, but it's up here. I don't know why that's there like that, but if you know, leave a comment down below why it's up here and the other one is down farther. And this one, it just to me, it looks like it doesn't belong on the car. It's like it fits from something else, but if it is, let me know. But yeah. 
one good last look at her. Beautiful car. Wow. That is cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you liked this car as much as I did. And if you did, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, because it helps me get a little bit higher up on the algorithm, so this way they kind of push my videos for everyone to enjoy. Till then, I'll see you guys on the next one.